quite an interesting looking building, a bit different from most hostel settings. At the time of COVID landing on us, um, I was working on an integrated care homeless project with Camden Council and UCLH. And literally one day I received a phone call to say that things were changing and we had to redeploy into the Britannia Hotel. And from the dark cloud of COVID, there has definitely been a huge silver lining in terms of bringing the sectors together, so the acute sector, primary care sector, and obviously the voluntary charity sector, which is the SHP. It became a very, evolving process is what I would probably say and I think a lot of it was about bringing those subject matter experts together and being able to prioritise the safety of both the patients and the staff delivering the care because SHP was obviously the main provider in terms of supporting the residents or patients um, on a 24-7 basis. All of us were working in a very untraditional environment, on traditional ways, on traditional methods and approach. There was a lot of things and barriers that traditionally were in place that we, that were all of a sudden broken down and it gave us the freedom to really just focus on our clinical knowledge and our clinical skills. The biggest difference between rehabilitation here and engagement here and engagement I've seen over the last three years in the hostels is the turnaround and the time frame. So this is been here for six, seven months. Some of the clients have been here for three months and in that time they've engaged with health, sorted out their health issues, sorted out substance misuse and moved on out of the homeless pathway. A lot of people have extensive experiences of services but have in general had really bad experiences and I think us being able to build those relationships, support and advocate where needed and re-engage I think has been really 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 fantastic and I think that's just been the result of it's been the result of both the MDT but it's also been the result of SHP staff being able to take what they need to support them and give them the confidence and the knowledge to drive forward and really understand what is actually there. I'm thankful for the, the clients um, because this also only worked because of the relationship they built with each other and staff. So when something good happened, clients were the number one fans and spread it around. So the first client that saw the dentist, he then told everyone about the dentist and everyone wanted to see the dentist. So I think really the residents have made it the, the good journey it's been. I became homeless and that was the time that when Kobe started. I stayed three days on the street, which is I never did in my life. When I came here, it was like, a family, a team was here, like everybody was looking after. I couldn't believe it, that many people that can help me out to stay somewhere and they can provide at least their food on my table every day, morning and afternoon lunch when I can't afford them money at the moment. It's provided some certainty in a very uncertain time as well that they, they've, they've got their meal, uh, meals, they know where that's coming from, um, they, they have adequate housing. Um, you know, that they have staff supporting them um, on various levels as well. Having all of those things provided, that not being an immediate worry um, for many of the clients, it, it kind of puts them in a position to now concentrate and, and focus on higher level needs, such as their psychological and mental health, um, emotional needs, um, social interaction and connection. Things that were identified within the hotel, I was there. Then when they're in the emergency department working uh, at UCLH, I was there to hand over to the team at UCLH such that we, the patient received appropriate support. My role is to try and move them on into whatever accommodation will be suitable for them. We had so much success stories much more than I thought we could have before I started the work. I would like to think that we've created such a positive impact and the experiences for both the staff and for the patients has been ginormous. And I'd like to think that it would create a case for change in how healthcare, wraparound services, acute and primary care all work together to deliver the most effective and the most responsive, holistic oriented care for residents and patients that we interact with on whatever level and whatever service. If this is repeated, replicated in uh, many parts of London with the homeless, the outcome will be wonderful. 
that's what I can see. There's so many good stories of outcomes that have happened here that in my experience as a nurse, it would be one time I'll look back and really um, feel the pride of myself and the team of the supporting these the marginalised communities. So my hope for this is that this is the new normal, that every homeless person experiences this level of care.